Prof. Dr. Marco Lisere, Institut für Elektrotechnik und Informationstechnik, Christian Albrechts Universität zu Kiel. Speicher und virtuelle Speicher als Alternative zum Netzausbau. Hallo, everybody. My name is Marco Lissere. I'm the uh, head of the team of Power Electronic at Kiel University, and I want to tell you something about our project in storage. So, as you see from the slide, we see that McKinsey has published a, a research, a market research. For this market research, it's evident that a battery pack is already a very competitive technology in several, uh, in several fields of application. What we can do here in Kiel that is spatial. We want to do this laboratory, this BioVay laboratory. This is a laboratory which is uh, starting from a cooperation between us that we are in charge of energy conversion and colleagues in material science. Uh, we are very near each other in the East Campus of the Faculty of Engineering. And then we will develop a power electronic energy conversion solution, especially suited and tailored for specific uh, battery technology. This will be both in the field of uh, uh, big energy storage. In fact, we can use a medium voltage laboratory, which have already in our uh, laboratories. And then we can also develop something for electromobility. Uh, a project example in which uh, we have been dealing with the storage and also with so-called virtual storage is this Kielflex project, uh, which is a project developed in Kiel. And in that case, we are not only using uh, an external storage, but we try to use the internal storage that you can find in the electrical network and also in the mobility network. So we use the flexibility that exists already in this network, combined with the storage that we can have from externally. This is actually some result to show a little bit about the principle of operation of this idea. We have a, a, um, actually a charging station, and this charging station not only gives the power to the electric vehicle to be charged, but also allow for reactive power to control the voltage profile in the network, and then allow to control the power flow. And then we can do, as you can see on the bottom of the figure, some peak shaving without needing to add extra storage to the network. Thank you very much.